Hey, good morning guys. It is uh, Tuesday morning. Yeah, last night we had our awesome Christmas party. I hope it was awesome. I had fun. Um, it was just really, really nice to get together with everybody and um, just have some social time and the white elephant exchange was fun and it was just good to to laugh and just enjoy each other this um, as we kind of bring the year to a close. Um, but last night, Crystal, uh, I, I toasted Crystal and, and congratulated her officially and you know with everyone that was gathered for her achievement of, of becoming a director last month. And um, she said something that um, made me think about something else and something that I wanted to um, make a video about this morning. So she was talking about how you know, being kind of uh, scared and nervous when she first uh, realized that she had achieved the promotion and, and achieved the rank of, of director and that immediately, you know, I reached out and the founders reached out and we got together and, and you know, the message was very, very clear that, you know, not a whole lot's going to change and that you don't have to be anything but who you are. Um, and I think that that is such a powerful message and, and it it started to, um, well, and it's something that even Holly and Gretchen have said to me since, since the very, very beginning of, of my journey as a, as a director and a leader in this company that, you know, if I was doing something a little bit differently and I was questioning, well, I'm not doing it like this person, they always said over and over without fail, just be yourself, be you. Um, that's what they want. And I know that that's true. And I, I have, you know, I hope that Crystal feels that way as well. And I, I think that she does. And what it reminded me of, you know, I went back, I was getting ready for bed last night and I was thinking about it and, you know, sometimes things will trigger like a, like a line from a movie or a song. Um, and, and I kept thinking about, um, Charlie Brown and, um, some of you, actually probably none of you know this. I have, I love Charlie Brown and Snoopy and have, it goes back to um, my days in children's theater. I did You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, and, and then the, the, the musical, and then the musical Snoopy. I did both of them when I was in children's theater. Um, and I pl have played the roles of Lucy and Snoopy, um, some of my favorite characters, um, and Charlie Brown, too. Um, but I was singing... Um, a lyric from a from a song from your good man Charlie Brown that's what Crystal's words made me think of but I'll get back to that in a minute um, but the reason that I have always loved Charlie Brown is because he's an unlikely hero and I have sort of, a, of a, an obsession with unlikely heroes they are my most favorite characters I love Frodo and I love Harry Potter and I love Dorothy and I love um, Don Quixote and and I mean the list goes on and on of characters in in stories and movies and and literature and, and musicals and all kinds of different genres but characters that um, just you don't expect them to be the hero of the story they don't have you know all of the typical qualities of somebody that that would that would save the day or save the world or save someone's life and um, since I was little, I've loved these types of characters. And, and it, what Crystal was saying last night, and, and you know, just it just sort of all came to this really clear thing for me that we are all unlikely heroes in this in this journey. That we have jobs that enable us to change the world. And I don't know about you, but that is not something that I ever thought that I would be doing. Um, so in that regard, I consider myself an unlikely hero. And I think that we're all unlikely heroes, you know? None of us have any kind of superpower or even super skill in, in sales or business or any of those kind of things that you would think would make somebody really successful. At, at building a, a business with Trades of Hope or changing the world. Um, but yet, we all have that uh, capability within us. And some have tapped into it and have really built something incredible and done things that they never thought they could do. And some are still striving to do that. But I, I can say with absolute surety that it is within you. Um, and, and, you know, there's the song, back to the, the Charlie Brown song, 
Lucy and Charlie Brown have a scene in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, where he, it's called, the, it's a, the song is called The Doctor Is In. And, and basically Lucy tells Charlie Brown, like, all of the things that are wrong with him. And, um, and it's, you know, everybody's got a Lucy. Sometimes she's just the voice in our head. Um, sometimes she's a real person. She's, she's awful, but, but we've all got a Lucy somewhere in our lives. Um, but what Lucy does for Charlie Brown is he actually, she actually says, you know, it's, it's, a it's, a uh, Oh, now I forget the lyric. Um, but but it's you're it's amazingly true. For whatever it's worth, Charlie Brown, you're you, and singular, remarkable, unique, Charlie Brown, you're you, and Charlie Brown finds joy in that. And she actually says the lyric actually is the, you know there's hope, uh, and and the hope is that that Charlie Brown is himself, and that there's nobody else like him. And that, you know, yeah, he's got all kinds of, of interesting qualities or uninteresting or, or things that might hold him back. But he's you. He's him. He is himself. And we all are uniquely ourselves. And we all have within us the capability to do, to be the unexpected hero. And, and then on top of that, I thought of another layer. That the artisans that we partner with they are the least likely people on this planet to be considered heroes. And yet, they are absolutely the heroes of their own stories. We say this in our presentation, it's on the cue cards. They are heroes because they have, have had, had an opportunity at their, in their hands to rise above poverty and rise above their situation. And they've taken it and they've, and they've run with it. Um, and so, we are called to do the same thing. We have this opportunity in front of us and we just need to believe that we, just the way that we are, you know, for whatever it's worth, Charlie Brown, we're, you're you, we're ourselves and we have these qualities that we can um, be unlikely heroes. So I, I just, I'm feeling really inspired by that this morning and I just, I love you guys so much and I say it, and I hope that you believe it, that I believe in you for who you are and what you have and the qualities that you have. And, and, and I hope that you believe that you are a hero. Um, unlikely or not, you are a hero because you have the chance to impact people's lives and change the world. And that, I mean, that's superhero stuff right there. So thank you again for a wonderful party. Um, congratulations again to Crystal. Thank you for your words. And uh, happy Tuesday. I love you guys. And uh, let's go out there and, and change the world. <laughs>